trust God. If we should stumble individually and as a church, slip or fall, be of good cheer, the Bible says. Be of good cheer, Christ says. I have overcome the world. We need to trust that God will restore paradise. We need to trust that God will repair the breaches. We need to trust that God will redeem lost sinners and he will have recompense upon the, the lost wicked ones among us. We need to trust that. We need to trust that God will regenerate the call. He will perform his will in this church if we will allow him. Don't be the sinner that causes others to doubt. Now, when, when we're going to hear all sorts of things, we're already hearing all over the internet, people are saying, no, oh, they're, they're some sort of house church, or, or, they're, or, they're, or they're, they're sheep that are shepherd, or they're just rebellious and doing their own thing. And, and there's going to be all sorts of things that come at us that would cause us to doubt. Does anyone here doubt that God is working in this church? Oh, no. Right, amen. Yeah. Does anyone here think that, that God can't do great things with just a small, seemingly small amount of people that are here? Do you doubt that? No, no, no absolutely. No. Does God, do, you, do you believe God's going to do great things through this church? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. If we let him, if we let God be lifted up, if we let ourselves be humble enough to let God do his work through us, absolutely, there's nothing that can't be done. Meditate upon the world. You'll have good success if we let the Bible do the talking. We need to not so much try to fight for ourselves, but allow God to fight through us. And as we go on, there's going to be all sorts of fights from the outside. Let's not let them get inside. And while the world is breathing down our necks and the world is calling us all sorts of wickedness, all sorts of rotten things, even if the whole movement should turn upon us, we need to trust in ourselves that if we trust in God, we can't be destroyed. Amen. And if we are destroyed, and seemingly for a moment it seems like, oh, we're ruined, there's nothing else we can do, there's nowhere else to turn, we need to trust that God's using even that together for good. Why? Because we're the called according to His purpose, not according to our purpose. I didn't purpose to come out to Mississauga. I have a purpose in my heart that I'm going to preach in some country church where it's really nice and relaxing and, and easy going. And, you know what I mean? My purpose is we're completely different to what's happening right now. But I'm called according to His purpose. Are you called according to His purpose? Yeah. Then, yeah. then, then get on board with His plan.